Hey everyone, we are live. Well, I'm live. Hello, good morning, good morning. I'm just getting sorted here. Well, hello, lovely ladies who are here already. Oh my goodness. Hello, Shannon. Uh, hello, Jeannie. Hello, Sari. Hi, Debbie. Shannon, I forgot to give you your wrench, sweetheart. I'm going to do that now. If I can figure that out. How do you do that from here? Can you do that from here? Yes. There we go. Uh, hello, uh, BRUPR209. <laughs> hello, Louisa. Can you let me know your name? Uh, BRUPR2009, what your name is, sweetie? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's a bit chilly here today. Um, fall has arrived, I think. Which is fine. Fall is my favorite time of year. I love autumn. I love the color changes. You don't make boo-boos, Jeannie. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you all for coming. As you can see, and from the title of the video, hey, Wendy, um, I am making a shabby chic ruffled dress while hanging. And Jeannie, I'm so glad you're here because, ta-da, ruffles. Ruffles. I, I did it. I used the ruffler, Jeannie, look, and it worked perfectly. I don't know what I was doing wrong last time. I watched your video, and I noticed that you folded the top edge down before you put it in the ruffler. So I did that and it just went through smooth like like butter. So I did that this time and my ruffles came out gorgeous. So hey Mary Lou. Uh, so I'm super happy. So thank you for your ruffler tutorial Jeannie. <laughs> Um, this is the beautiful silk that uh, Siobhan sent me. And then this is a beautiful shabby fabric I had in my stash. So I was totally inspired to make this by a lovely lady named Va, who is Bianca4430. And the link to her video that inspired me for this is in the description box underneath this video. Um, so please go over and watch. I'm making mine different. Um, Hers was an actual dress that you could wear. Mine is going to be like a storage pocket wall hanging thing to hang in the craft room. Um, so I'm going to be making pockets on top and shabbying it up. And I've gathered some laces here for flowers. And I have lots of trims and stuff here. But the other thing that she did that I want to show you guys is this. You know how everybody has these beautiful hangers to hang their shabby chic pieces on? I don't have any of those. But she had just taken an ordinary wire hanger and wrapped muslin around it. And look how cool it looks. Now on her video, she had the dress hanging in the center. And then she made two like shabby chic hearts to hang on either side so i may do that as well um, when you watch the inspiration video you'll see that so i may do that but what a great way to shabby up our wire hangers right is to just wrap them with muslin so little tip there which i thought was great because all these fancy hangers i see they cost a fortune first of all oh you have a chihuahua oh nice <laughs> well, we would like to see that. I would love to see the Chihuahua dress hanging on a shabby hanger. That would be adorable. Um, but yeah, what a great idea to do with your hangers, right? Because, you know, all these fancy wire hangers, nobody can afford those. So this is a great way to do it. Um, and I actually remember my grandmother doing something similar, but there was like a a braided technique that people did on top of hangers back in the day. I'm talking, you know, 
late 70s, early 80s, um, and covered their wire hangers. I still have some of my grandmother's that she did, believe it or not. But uh, this is another way to do it. So it kind of reminded me of that technique where they used to braid three different, um, it was like a, a polyester, stretchy kind of yarn, and they would braid it over top of the hanger. So. Anyway, that's the other part, which I did. And all I did was wrap it. Like, I don't think you need a tutorial for that. I just started at one end, worked my way around, and went all the way around. And I just tore strips of muslin for that. And then the little leftover piece I just tied in a bow. That was it. Hi, Bootsy. Right? Small wall hangings do fit. Yeah, so I have some of those odd size walls in my house too. You could also decoupage the wooden ones. Absolutely. Sorry. Absolutely. So yeah, lots of good ideas to do with hangers. So that's what the little dress is going to get hung on. So, um, and also I wanted to point out, I'm sure you guys saw Ruby Little Books technique where she used the ribbon in her bobbin. Um, we've been using embroidery thread and um, she used ribbon. So I thought I would give it a try. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. My ribbon was a little wide, so it did kind of narrow it down. But I did some ribbon um, in the bobbin like Ruby showed, who has little books, like I said, on her YouTube channel. So I did do it, Ruby, if you watch this later. Um, and it's got, it's a light blue ribbon with a little bit of silver in it. So it does work. It worked really well. Um, I didn't have the super thin that she had. Mine was just a slight bit wider. So it did kind of, it does roll your ribbon up, of course, because it's got to get through the bobbin and everything. So, but I really liked how it came out and it, there was no problem. It, it went through really nicely. So there you go. I did it. Hi, Debbie. I probably already said hi to you, didn't I? So as you can see, my my um, other lady who's usually with me, Kimmy, she's not here today because she's in Florida and they're having the bad storms today. So everybody send positive vibes and love to all the people in the south of the U.S. who are going through the bad storms right now. It's worrying. So anyway, that's what my project is going to be today. So I'm going to start off. I've got some doilies here, and I'm going to make some pockets, like I said, because this is going to be for storage in my craft room. So I'm going to start off with some doilies and make pockets and then sort of just start building it up and decorating it. So because it's just me on the panel today, if I miss a question or something, let me know. Hey, Helen. Um, let me know. Just repeat it again a couple times till you get my attention. <laughs> okay. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, before I start that, I'm going to finish off the bottom here. Let me just move my hanger because we don't need that yet. I've got some doily trim I want to put on the bottom because I'm going to be using doilies. So... We're just going to put some of this lovely doily trim along the bottom of the ruffle here. Let me just trim that right there. So what are you guys all up to? Is it autumn where you guys are yet? Has fall come or do you have summer year round where you are or? Are you in Australia and it's still winter? <clears throat> you might hear my cats in the background. She was at her scratching post. They live in my craft room with me, as I know Helen's kitty cats live in her craft room with her too. Oh, is it nice there, Jeannie? It's very overcast here today. I wish the sun was out so it would be a little bit brighter. <clears throat> Fall is coming fast. Rainy day in Sweden. Uh, 
Oh, is it cold in the UK? Yeah. Ah, oh. hard to believe summer's over, isn't it? It went by really fast. Yeah, summer all year round in Puerto Rico. Oh, lucky. I could do without snow. It was cold here last night. It went down to 8 Celsius here last night. Like, really chilly. Okay. So we've got that down there now, so I kind of like that. So that just adds, oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering what I used, this, the base of the dress, is actually a bed sheet that I got at a thrift store, um, and it was beautiful. What did I do with the bottom of that? Here it is. It was a beautiful sheet. It had beautiful shabby colors. And the bottom of the sheet had this gorgeous um, lace and ruffle. So I've cut that off. I was going to use it on the bottom, but I thought, nah, I want to make some ruffles. But uh, so when you're at your thrift stores, definitely look in the bedding section because you never know what you're going to find. Mostly overcast, the best part of the year, is it? <laughs> 76 where you are now debbie you're not anywhere near the storms are you i know you're in florida oh bless bootsy I love quilting. I haven't made a quilt for quite a long time, but I took a course on quilting many, many, many years ago. Um, and I loved it. That's where I learned how to do like hand appliques and things like that. Now, where did I put that other doily? There it is. So I think what I want to do now is make the pocket. So I've got this really pretty doily that I think I'm going to put up here. And then I've got this piece that I think I'm going to cut and make a long pocket here. Like down here, like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we will decorate. Oh, I'm glad you're good there, Debbie. I was watching the, the news there with the tracking of the storms. Hey, Susan. Oh, you're going to clean? You can come and do mine when you're done, sweetie. <laughs> I always say that to people. Come clean my house. Yeah. I'll craft while you're cleaning. No problem. So these are some vintage doilies, again, thrift store finds. I don't think this is going to take too long to make. Now, in the inspiration video, she had also made pockets on the back of hers, but I don't think I'm going to do that because I don't want to have to take it off and down and, you know, to, to store things. Um, and this, I think, is going to hold my vintage laces. Um, I think that's what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love the offer. <laughs> Seriously, you can. You can come. You're welcome. I'll feed you and everything. <laughs> All righty, let's glue this down. I 
I have a beautiful um, shabby wall hanging that it, um, Siobhan made me um, for storage. So I have that. So I'm going to hang this one beside it. I think I might put some dangles on the bottom too. We'll have to flip that over. And for the shape of this, I just kind of, what I did was I folded it in half and just cut the one side out and then part of the neck. Um, and it was, it's a very basic shape, so it's not hard to, to draw. I used my chalk writer that I have for sewing. And then I just sewed around it. So it's a pretty basic, simple shape. Oh, glue strings. So this one. There we go. See how easy that is? Okay, sorry. Thanks for popping in, hon. So super simple to make pockets with doilies, right? Super simple. Nice big one here. Okay, so... If I could get rid of the glue strings, I'd be happy. All right, so now I've got lots of vintage doilies and things. So now we're going to vintage this up. Um, I think I want to put, I might cut this one in half, which I know cutting a vintage doily, but I really kind of like it. And I do like that there. I might do this first. Takes me a while to figure out what I want to do. I don't know what this was. I got it in a an auction on eBay. There was two of them. It must have been part of a collar, I would think. A very vintage collar. Bootsy said, years ago I made a fabric clown wall decoration doubled as a hamper for a five-year-old. It terrified her. She wouldn't go in her bedroom. Super fail. <laughs> At 45, she loves the clown horror films. That is hilarious, Bootsy. I love that. Yeah, we're going to chop them, Shannon. We're going chop chop. Here we go. Nobody cringe. And this one too. There we go. And they didn't even make a sound. It does look like Bob and Lace, doesn't it? I think this one might be. It very well could be. It's super old. I think I got this one from Don a little. I have two other ones. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Um, I have two other ones I got from Donna Little that I will never use. Um, they're very, very old. One of them has hand beading on them, and it's all glass beads. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
And the other one's got like, I'm pretty sure it's a bobbin lace um, doily, but it's got angels on it. And she had two of them. She kept one for herself. And I luckily ended up with another one that I bought off of her. So, yeah. And I do have some trims that I won't use either. I have um, a couple of collar pieces I don't want to use. And, you know, those are the special things that are too old and too precious to use. I just have to make sure I don't glue this pocket shut. Because knowing Kim, she would do that. Kimmy! You're here. You made it. How's the storm, Kimmy? All right, we're just gluing stuff down, making sure we don't close the pocket. See, look at that. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to put this piece down, I think. Which way is up? I think this way. And I'm going to add little touches of pink just to pick up on the pink ruffles at the bottom towards the end in some of the details. Hey, Siobhan. How you doing, sweetheart? Oops. Well... I just knocked my glue sticks over. How great. Okay. Now, what's next? I think I want to do something around the neck here. I've got this trim. I think I'm going to use that. It's a roughly trim, so I think I'm going to use that. Minus the pin. So I think we'll do it like that. That way you can still sort of see the ribbon embroidery underneath it. But it finishes it off nicely. Let's see. Probably be better if I move that down a bit so you could see what I was doing. Hey, Sierra. Nice to see you, sweetie. Did you get everything organized, Kimmy, for the storm? Oh, you had your extra? Okay. Oh, you're going on Thursday to see an orthopedic. Oh, okay. Karen, no worries, sweetheart. Hey, Janine. Everybody's here. Yay. So glad to see all of you guys. Karen is still Karen's still posting beautiful, gorgeous images from her travels.
wonder if I should put one this way as well. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, we're going to flip it over now that I've glued it to my mat. Look at that. And we're going to do one on this side. We're going to do it this way. You're trying to do laundry, cooking, gathering batteries, flashlights, and making ice. Girl, that sounds like quite a list. You're cutting some copies you made. Ooh. Hey, Paula. For those that just came in, I am making a shabby chic ruffle dress wall hanging and it's going to be a storage wall hanging for my vintage laces. Um, and the inspiration video that I was inspired to make this is in the description box by Bianca4430. Lovely lady named Ba, who's been around for a long, long time on YouTube. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm making mine a bit different than hers. Hers was not a storage piece. But hers is absolutely beautiful. And I'm sorry if I miss some things in the chat. It's flying pretty good there. Okay. So there, I just put another little row around the top on the inside there too. So I thought that just finished the top off. So here's where we're at for everybody that just came in. Yeah, the description in the, underneath the video, Jeannie, you'll find a link to the video that I was inspired by. Um, but she's she makes beautiful shabby chic things. She hasn't been on YouTube for a while now, but uh, the items she makes are beautiful. Sorry, guys, I'm just drinking some water. Oh, you're still in South Africa, Jeannie? I mean, Janine, sorry. <laughs> I know Jeannie's not in South Africa. <laughs> yes, I'm using the doilies um, for pockets. There we go. To store my vintage laces in. All right, so now we're going to get on to the decorating part, which is always exciting. So I do have some pink ruffle trim that I kind of like. That might finish off the top of the pockets nicely and it brings the pink up from the ruffle. So I may use this. It's a very pale pink, but I think it finishes the pockets off nicely. And this is a chaos for you trim. And of course, you can find the links for craft supplies for you in the description box as well. So let me do this, and then hopefully I won't glue my pocket shut again. I should probably... Let's stick something underneath here as I go along. Stop me from gluing the pocket to the back. <laughs> it's not like your clown hamper. <laughs> Bootsy. <laughs> That's hilarious.
Well, I've been looking for lots of different ideas to make things lately because, you know, you kind of get in a rut and make all the same type of things sometimes. And you just, I don't want to keep making the same thing. So I always look for different things and try different ideas. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, right? You can always tear it apart and make something else out of it. Yes, I learned not to glue pockets to the back, Jeannie. All right. Mind you, I might glue this to the back. That could happen, Jeannie. Hey, Deanna. How are you? Oh, there's my kitty cat. Getting into stuff. Oh, need another glue stick. <clears throat> um, yeah, actually, um, who sent me? I think Julie might have sent me that. KS for you, Julie. She might have sent me this one. And yes, I used the pink fabric you sent me, Siobhan, down at the bottom. I love that fabric. I love mixing like shabby and vintage together. Pink and um, like cream and tan and ecker, they all look so nice together. Okay. Yep, see it glued it to the bag. That's all right. Okay, we're good. I'm going to trim that. So cute pockets, right? Super cute, nice and deep too. So definitely can hold some goodies in there. Yes, it is very girly. It really is. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is put something along the bottom. And I think I might have some other crochet trim that I could do just on the back. Might be in this bag of stuff. Hmm. Maybe it's in here, maybe it's not in here. I do have that, but I don't think it's going to be. Hmm. Thought I had some other trim in this bag, but I guess I do not. Hmm. This is an Olivia snippet bag, right? <laughs> it's snippets from Olivia. And I thought there was some crochet trim in here. Oh, there we go. Found it. Yes, I did do a Tussie Mussy on my channel a couple of live classes ago. No, I didn't dye the doilies, Siobhan. They came that color. They're very vintage. Um... So those are the natural color that they came. Oh, you're making yo-yo flowers? Hey, Joey. 
So I want to just bring some of this tan color down. So I'm going to put some of this crochet trim under the last pink ruffle here. So I'm going to flip this over. If I can get that down far enough, I don't know if I can shoot. It may not be wide enough. I don't think it's going to go. Maybe. Oh, things are catching. If I put it there. Yeah, you might see it. Okay. You just have to put it right along the very, very edge. It is an amazing snippet bag. <laughs> Olivia has the best snippets, that's true. I was on uh, chatting to her last week, and uh, she said, oh, I've got these snippet bags I'm going to probably donate or get rid of. I don't know. And I said, uh, I'll take one. <laughs> So that's how I ended up with that snippet bag. So she kindly popped it in the mail to me. Of course, I paid for the shipping and everything, but uh, and it was here within a week, which is amazing. There we go. I think that'll be cute on the bottom. You won't see much of it, but you will see some of it. But it'll just finish that off nicely, I think. Yeah, you can just see that a little tiny bit. Look at that. So that's kind of cute. Let me just trim off all the little pieces here. So it looks like a little crocheted petticoat underneath there now. Super cute. Okay, back to here. So now we come to the decorating portion. So I made ahead of time just some gathered, I just gathered up some laces. So we're going to put some flowers down here at the bottom, I think. And some doilies and stuff like that there. I need one more for here, I think. I like that they're oversized. Yeah, the top I'm going to do as well. We're going to do, and then like some dangles and yeah, we're going to hook it up, Karen. So let me find a few little doilies here in my basket that is hiding under my table. Nope, I like that. I need something else for there, though. Maybe that and then that. What else do I have in my basket? Hmm. looking for a really small piece, a really tiny little doily piece. Must have used them all up. I 
Oh, you meant to snip it at the top of that piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I get you. So it hangs down lower. I could actually do something on the back of that so it does hang down a bit lower, Karen. I could actually just put a second layer of this on it so it hung down a bit lower. So I may do that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, I think that'll be good. That's the winner. Okay, let's move these for a minute. So all I did with these was just gather them. You guys know how to do that, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. It's going to hang beside the one that you made me, Siobhan. On my wall that's this in front of me over there by my door. <laughs> And then, of course, we're going to put bling, because it's got to have bling in the centers of the flowers. Okay, that's the back. Well, I hope you guys will give it a try. Um, something fun and different to do, right? I love big oversized flowers. Oh, yeah, I'm going through the glue sticks today. Okay, let's get the bling out. Yes, it is a great gift for a little girl because she could keep her little dollies in here. If you have a granddaughter or a daughter, young daughter, she could keep her little dollies in here or her PJs. How cute would this be for her to keep her PJs in, right? Holiday season coming, so... Be a good gift for that. Let's see what we got for bling. And all the blings from Craft Supplies for you as well, guys. So I like that one. I might just use three of those. I don't know them. Ooh, maybe a square one. We'll use different bling. Why not? Why not, right? <laughs> yes, I know you like bling, Jeannie. Um, what do we want to use? And we'll put a little pearl one in there. There we go. Bling, bling, bling. It is compulsory. That is so true. You can't have something girly without bling on it anyway. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, Miss Siobhan put up a video this morning her KS4U project, and she made shabby chic kites. 
and they're amazing. Oh, you should make one, Shannon. Make one. I bet you could make a gothic one. <laughs> okay, so there's our flowers. Love that. And the other thing, too, is that will weigh down the piece so it doesn't, like, you know, it's not flapping in the wind. That'll anchor your piece to the wall like it'll stay nice and flat. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, I want something not huge because we've got flowers here. So I do want to have like a couple of little things, maybe appliques or something here. Then we're going to attach to the hanger. And then um, I'm probably going to make a couple of flowers and then like some nice dangly bits. But I think what I want to do... Where did I put that in place? I'm going to put another row of this on the back because Karen was correct. It does need a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, now see I've got two corners here, but that's okay. If I cut this piece here, we can just attach it. And then we're going to cut that piece right there. Then she'll have a double petticoat ruffle. You have a sewing machine phobia? Well, we're going to have to fix that, Shannon. We'll have to get you and Siobhan and me and Jeannie one day on Hangouts and we will do a sewing tutorial. Yes, and if you need help, you can reach out. We're all sewers, uh, Shannon. So anytime you need help, girl. I love my sewing machine. I've had it for a long, long time and I taught both my daughters how to sew on it. Um, it's an old beast. It's an old Bernina sewing machine. And um, I love it. I've never had one problem with it. My husband is very good. He's, he fixes electronics for a living. So um, he um, is able to keep it, you know, going for me, which is awesome. So he, you know, cleans it and sets it up, um, you know, every so often for me. But uh, other than that, we've never had it repaired, nothing. It's just been, you know, wonderful. I think that they don't make machinery like they used to. I think a lot of the new computerized sewing machines, which don't get me wrong, I would love one, but I think... The older machines, I don't know, they just last longer. Oh, really, Booty? I love my serger. You see, the serger is good for, like, I didn't use it on here, but you could run this whole piece through the serger and your edge would just finish off beautifully. You'd have no fraying or anything, but I wasn't worried about it because it was a wall hanging. But if I was making this dress, like for my granddaughter, then I would serge all the edges so it wouldn't fray when it was washed. There we go. Now she's got a double petticoat. Let's see here. There we go. So a double petticoat now. So there we go. All right. So now we're going to work on, I want to do like appliques or something here. Let me think, think, think. Or maybe just little doilies or something. Hmm. What do you guys think? Aw, uh, Bootsy, are you on Facebook or anything, Bootsy? Because if you are, you could message me, um, and I can help you with your serger. Oh, 
Oh, yours does embroidery, Shannon. Oh my goodness, yes, you do. I want an embroidery machine. Jeannie's got a beautiful one she showed us. I'm just looking for some uh, doilies or appliques here, guys, off camera. I do have those. Hmm. I do have that. That might be too pink, though. Too pink. Yes. Yeah, if you can join the, the, my Facebook group, um, the link is under the description box there, under the video, um, the Angel Dream Crafts Facebook group. And if you need help with your serger, hey, Elegant Delights, how are you? Yeah, if you want to join, that would be great. I and mean, if you need any help, sweetie, just, you know, let me know. Let's see, I do have this. Do I have two of those though? What do I have? Or do I have, oh, maybe this one. Let's do this. Winner, winner. All right, so we're gonna cut out these little flowers here and just put them right in the centers there. And then we'll work on the top part. Uh, let's see here. I am good, elegant embellishments. Elegant, or pardon me, elegant delights. What's your name, hun? You could put it in the chat if you wish. and. Or do you prefer to be called elegant? Because that would be a great name. Just call me elegant. Make sure everybody's sub to everybody as well. Got a couple of new people in here for sure. Okay. There. That's good. That just finished that off. Okay. Oh, you're Roy? Okay. Okay, so now let's get our hanger. Now we got to figure out how to attach this. So I think what I'm going to do is tie it with some laces. And then I'm probably going to make a couple of shabby flowers. And then we're getting close to be the, being done, which is very cool. So let's find some skinny laces here. Um, 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 this one might work. I think we'll do this one. This is a nice vintage lace. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's see here. Maybe we'll do it this way and then tie it that way, okay. That's what we're gonna do. 
<laughs> yeah. Get your sewing machine out, Shannon. That's right. <laughs> we'll get you going. Oh, thank you, Elegant. Oh, you have to go, my genie. Okay, sweetie. I'm glad you came, though. You know I always love seeing you. Aw. Have a good day, Jeannie. We'll talk soon, for sure. Yes, I love the soft colors too, Siobhan. I know they're your favorites. These are mine too. Shabby and vintage together. My favorite. So if you did want to make a dress for a daughter or a granddaughter or a niece or, or, you know, your favorite little girl, this is very simple pattern to do. And they make beautiful little jumper dresses um, for winter or summer. I mean, in the summer, they could be a nice little sundress. In the winter, you could put like a, um, a long sleeve top underneath it. But very simple to make this shape. Bye, my genie. Mwah. Alrighty, let's tie this on here now. And then we'll make a couple of flowers, I think. I might make a couple of muslin flowers. So see, easy to tie this on here for sure. But I definitely want to put something on top just to secure the lace on here. So there we go, tied to the top. Super cute, right? Okay, so let's see. I have these really pretty square doilies that I could do something with. I don't know though. These came from Helen Lockwood. I've been hoarding them. I don't know if I want to use those or not. Let's see. I think they'd make an adorable little mini doily book too, so I might just keep them for that. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I think I might keep these because they would make really just an adorable little doily mini. I believe Helen crocheted these too. See, I still have them, Helen, if you're still here. <laughs> okay, let's find something else to make flowers with. What could we do? Oh, I have these. I have these flowers. What am I thinking? Yes, perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect. And of course, I think these flowers are going to have bling in them as well because we've got to have more bling. I've been described the same shabby and vintage. Oh my God. <laughs> Old and disheveled. Yeah, some days I feel like that too, too Roy. Yeah. I think we all feel that way once in a while. Yep. Okay. I like those flowers there. Hope you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Glue strings. Ugh. My nemesis. So cute. Okay. Let's do that. And then, uh, yeah. 
I've got some cheesecloth too. I want to add underneath in pieces just to shabby these flowers up a bit and give them some dimension. So I'm just going to cut. Yeah, I love the hanger too. What a great idea. She did that in the inspiration video and I was like, okay, now I have things I can use for my wall hangings, you know, because like I was saying at the beginning of the video, you know, the, the fancy hangers are so expensive. So, but if you decorate them this way, then it just makes your, your hangers look shabby and, you know, not wire. <laughs> So all I'm doing now is I'm cutting up little bits of cheesecloth and I'm going to tuck them underneath the petals of the flower just to shabby them up. And I just get my cheesecloth at the grocery store. That's where I get mine from. So all I do is just kind of, you know, fold them and then I'm going to lift up the petals, put a bit of glue and Put the cheesecloth underneath it so it kind of just peeks out. Hey Sherry! Hi Casey! Did I see Casey come in? Yep, Casey's here. Casey's got some great videos on her channel where she takes you shopping with her, and I was really enjoying those. They're fantastic. So it just takes a tiny bit of glue and a tiny bit of cheesecloth underneath. And I'll hold that up for you guys so you can see what I did. Minus the glue strings. But you can see here that I added the cheesecloth to the flower and it just made it all shabby looking. And it made it more dimensional. And then I'm going to put some bling in the center, but it pops the petals up nicely too. So we're going to do that on this side as well. And then we're going to add just some nice ribbon and vintage laces to dangle down the side. And then we're good, I think. Hey, Bonnie. Nice to see you, Bonnie. Okay, bling. Bling, bling, bling. I think we'll use these guys. Oh, cool, Roy. Who doesn't love shopping in a thrift store? Right? I'm going to have to come over and see that video. Okay. So now I've got some lace here. Let's cut that in half, first of all.
And then this one I think we'll use, oh no, maybe this one. This one's a bit thinner. Let me see here. How much of this do I want on each side? There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to put these two together and make a bow. So we have some nice dangles. I like using little laces for that, little skinny laces for bows. A <laughs> magpie syndrome. <laughs> it was after my challenge, Sierra. It's not that far back. It was probably two weeks ago, maybe. Um, it was one of my live videos that I did. And there's a bunch of pink roses on top of it. I think you'll see in the thumbnail, like a lot of pink roses in the thumbnail. So if you see that on the thumbnail, that is um, the video. So let me just put this under here like this. Look how cute that looks with the bow, right? Super adorable. So cute. Oh my goodness. You've been doing a lot of de-stashing, Paula, my goodness. Yes, live with the Scottish crafter. Karen, you have a really good memory. That was then, yes. And for some reason, we couldn't get the Hangout camera to work that day um, for Sam. I don't know what happened there, but very strange. Very, very strange indeed. Okay. Just trying to even up my loops here. Oh, you found it, hon? Okay. Okay. So the other bow on the other side over here. Oh, I think I put it there, like that. So there we have it, I think, guys. A shabby chic ruffle dress while hanging. Um, pretty simple to do, really. Um, great for storage. We've got the great big pocket here that I'm going to store my vintage laces in here and then we've got another one here and like I said in the inspiration video she um, flipped it over and put pockets on the back of hers I'm not going to do that but that is a good idea if you want to do that as well it'll give you more pockets for storage um, so we've got a couple of rows of the crochet trim that I got from Miss Olivia and then the beautiful ruffles I made with my ruffler. This pink fabric came from Siobhan. And then this was in my stash, this one. And then we've got a crochet trim here off the edge of a, a table runner. Um, we used vintage 
doily pieces to make the pockets, um, some big oversized puffy flowers that I love and bling, and then lots of vintage doilies and some pretty pearl trim to just bring the pink up. Um, when you're using an accent color, I like to sort of spread it throughout the piece, like, and but it's not overwhelmingly pink but it's definitely got the pink touches in it, which I like to do that with an accent color. And then the hanger, of course, like I said, it's a wire hanger. Um, all I did was tear strips of muslin and just wrapped it around and around. I'm gonna be doing this again because it's such a great idea for our wall hangings. Um, so to use up all those wire hangers, we all have such a fun idea. And uh, I just tied, the, a little muslin bow with what was left of when I was wrapping it around. Um, and then we did a couple of ties to attach it to the hanger, added some flowers and some lovely vintage laces with bow. So, you know, and I did, like I said, I just cut the piece out. What I did was I folded a piece of fabric in half, which was actually a bed sheet. And you can see on the back what it looked like. There's the shabby chic bed sheet that I got at the thrift store. And I folded it in half and just cut the shape and then cut half the collar. You open it up, you've got a dress shape. Um, and then you just kind of trim it and shape it the way that you want. And now I've got something to hang in my craft room for storage that looks pretty. And I can keep my vintage trims in it. I know, no wire hangers, Christina, I know. But this way we can hide them, Roy. <laughs> I see we're going to be very good friends, Roy, because you have a sense of humor that I love. <laughs> it does look shabalicious, yes. Yep, it's pretty, right? So I'm, I'm happy with it and I'm going to hang it up and I'm going to pop my vintage laces in it. I've got a bunch of these, the old fashioned clothespins, and I'm going to store my vintage laces on these and pop these inside here so they'll be sticking out like that. So another idea there. I've also altered these as well. I've painted them and altered these as well, but I kind of like the, the natural wood for this. You could probably even just no you couldn't okay never mind but they'll look cute sticking out right so that's what i'm going to do well i've been on over an hour and i had the base made and the the hanger was already covered so it was just a matter of putting stuff down so yeah <laughs> Like I said, I think it comes from my days of being a florist that I work so fast because, you know, being a florist, you have to kind of work fast sometimes. So I think that's why I work fast. Um, that's probably where I get that from. So thank you all for coming. I really hope you're going to give this a try. And remember, the inspiration video is in the description box. So please go over and see how she made it. Um, you may have a different take on it, but I think it's fun, something different to do with our trims. And, uh, you know, it's always good to have storage pieces in our craft room, I think, because if you guys are like me, which I think most of you are, you need storage. Yes, give them little cherub faces. OMG, Shannon. Yes. Little, little, little faces. I agree with that. <laughs> Kimmy's not on with me today, Siobhan. She's, uh, it's just little old me today. She's got a storm happening near her, so she couldn't get on. She popped in, though. I'm not sure if she's still here. She might have lost power, unfortunately. So that's it, guys. I want to thank you all for coming. And of course, I will see you all soon. And I'll be back with another video on my channel soon. Um, for those of you that are new, thank you for coming. Please um, subscribe to everybody. Yeah, she's in the chat. There she is. You're there, Kimmy? Oh, good. She is in the chat. I didn't see you for a while, hon. I wasn't sure if you were still here.
So if you're new, um, remember that I have an Angie Dream Crafts Facebook page and the link to that is in the description box. So please come over and join us over there. We have a fantastic group. We do swaps and everything is fun in that group. I love it. There's such a great group of people in there. Um, and that's it for right now. I'll be back soon though. Love you all. Bye guys. Take care.